Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, today I just want to make a little video, guys, uh, to help you out with these kind of servo connectors, okay, that come on just about all the uh, servos nowadays. Alright. Now, if you crack one of these guys, or you got it on the table, or if it breaks or pulls out during a crash or cracks or you drop something on it while you're working or you drop it on the floor or whatever have you and it breaks or cracks or it chips you don't have to uh, cut these wires guys okay uh, all you have to do is replace this end alright and how you do that okay this is what they look like without one on there okay and it might be a little hard for you guys to see, but you have your different your red, uh, black, and the white wire here. And these little gold connectors will fit inside of these, obviously. Okay. Now, two things. One, when you're putting it back together, you want to make sure you put the wires in the right way. Uh, so definitely either make uh, a picture, take a picture of it, or... Uh, make a diagram uh, of of the thing so you don't forget because you can easily put the wires in the wrong spots guys and uh, usually when you do uh, the wires are going to go in order white red and black but the only way you could really mess up is obviously if you started the black on that side uh, but these connectors can be replaced guys and I'm going to tell you how to do it basically you're going to need I did it by myself, okay, but if you have two people, it really is a big help. Now, these little, you always want to start with the uh, solid black plastic facing down, okay. And if you look at these connectors, guys, the three connectors, there's these little tiny tabs, okay, that hold the connectors in. Now from my experience unless there's a special tool out there you have to lift these up individually okay so it would definitely make it easier if you separate your wires okay like this because you can't pull all three out at once you gotta pull them out one at a time and what you do is you get yourself a pin like this and you're gonna put it underneath that piece of plastic and you're just going to lift that up very very gently and at the same time you got to pull the wire that's why I said if these wires are separated like this it makes it easier and if one person is got you know is holding the connector like this and the other is pulling the wire it definitely helps I did it by myself by separating the wires and pulling it gently putting my thumb up against it and lifting it and pulling them out uh, and that's basically how it's done guys it's very simple to do and it'll only take you a couple of seconds uh, and I don't know if I have a spare one here to show you Let me just look through here I really don't want to pull this one apart but anyways guys you get the idea of how to do it you take a pen and just gently you'll pry that up that little plastic and you, and you don't want to break it guys you want to pry it up very very easily and it definitely helps if you have somebody while you're prying it up pull the wire out and definitely separate the wires so it's easier for somebody to grab a hold individually and pull now I don't know guys if they have a tool at the factory that can lift all three of them up uh, I wouldn't think that they do because when you're installing them you don't have to do nothing except take your clip make sure it's going the right way and push these in now they do go in a specific way guys you have and it's gonna be hard for you to see but you have one side is basically flat and then the other side has 
kind of hard. I'm trying to, uh, the easiest way to explain it. Basically, the easiest way, I guess, is one side is the crimp side, okay, that's crimped, where you can see it's crimped, and then the other side would be the solid side. The other side is where it squeezes together. And when you put them in, you basically, if I can get, it's so hard to see, to show you guys, but you want this side here, okay, one second, guys. Let me just spin this around. Okay. You basically, you want the side that's crimped. Okay. The crimp side of the connectors is the one that's going in this way. Okay. That would be going in with the crimp side facing up. Okay. I apologize, guys. It's just, it's very difficult trying to show you these little tiny detail things on camera, but that's how you do it once again you take a pin have separate the wires about an inch back uh, put the pin under the little tiny black clip just lightly lightly lift it up have somebody pull the wire out and do the same on the other two and then when you put them back in if you look you want to look down at the end of the wire where it's crimped on and you'll see the side that's solid and then you'll see the side that's crimped together, okay? And the side that's crimped together is the side that you want to push in. That's the side you want facing up, okay? I hope that this helps you out, guys. I know it's a kind of a hard thing to show you on camera. It's a little tedious, uh, but just for the knowledge out there, that's how you change a servo connector. It can be done. Um, and you don't have to cut and do any soldering or crimping or anything like that. So I hope that this gives you a little bit of info, guys, about these things. And uh, I hope that it helps you out if you have the uh, an event where you have to change these things out. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyo Show.